Tomorrow's 23 degrees. Gotta run around naked. Outside. Wait, no, you get arrested. In those really short shorts. Like those shorts where you're like, okay, probably a little too short. You can run around in those. The shortest of shorts, dude. The hot pants, you got them ready to go? Nice, dude. Three inch inseam? There you go, that's what we want. Won't you get a ticket for that, Loco? Probably not. Doubt it. Highly doubt it. If it doesn't cut into your thighs, is it even short? Oh, it's six degrees where you're at, Viren? Yeah, so last week it was, um... It was very short as... Or, it was very short. It was very cold over here, too, but... Now suddenly things are okay again. I don't know, man. Things are weird. It's almost as if the climate is... Adjusting. Or some might even say, ch change, uh, uh no, no, what, <laughs> It's warmer days, pretty cool. Yeah, that was actually right, yeah. Climate change, wait, climate can change if the earth is flat? That, mm, that's one of the dumber things I've ever heard. I like it. I've heard a lot of stupid things on the internet, Grimdy. That is one of the ones that makes very little sense. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if someone posted it on Facebook and they actually genuinely believed it. The climate is evolving. Ooh. Look, I don't believe in climate. The environment is an illusion made by the government. True. Do you know birds are also not real frostbite? Do you know they're actually just government drones? Wake up, sheeple. They've been spying on us our entire lives. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, I think this will take care of the problem, mo for the most part, I think. I hope so, because I'm kind of tired of this production strike. Okay, it's going to take about 10 minutes. Oh, you can- Oh, that's cool, look at that. I didn't even know you could do that. You can click the little button right there at the top. Nice. Okay, I should have probably done the blueprint a little bit more clearly than that. Okay, actually that's a lot. I don't really need that much. New subscriber detected. Nice. What's going on, Grubin? Oh, I've been playing this game for a good amount of hours over the last couple of weeps, uh, weeks. Weeks again, uh, the last couple of weeps. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bring Gabe into this. Um, I, I've just been New enjoying it again. It's been fun. Detected. Mm -mm -mm. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Ay, ay, ay. How am I doing, guys? Ooh, woo. Am I right? How to sound like you watch anime. Let me see. 
How to fake your way through a conversation about anime. Uh, let's see. The best strategy to read cliff note summaries. Ooh. Smart. Hard strategy? Actually watch a couple of anime? No, 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 no. Ay, yeah, yeah. Bro, we all know anime is boring, but what isn't boring, however, is reading opinion pieces on the internet. That's true, dude. Whoa, fam desu. You can stick around the group and listen absent-mindedly. When you're asked a question about a show they're discussing, you can just tell them that you don't really have a lot of interest in anime in general. Bro, this is my strategy up to this point. I feel like, yeah, that's the basic bitch strategy. I shouldn't be, um... Honestly, honestly, like, honesty should be thrown out of the window, okay? Who cares about honesty? It's 2022. Feign interest, okay? For this strategy, you have to decide your fake anime tastes. You could pretend to be more of a fan of action, slice of life, a show about nothing, tragedy, mecha, etc. Um, my favorite anime genre is slice of life, chat, because it's about nothing. Hmm, this is an important article. You're more of a mecha fan yourself? Okay. I like how there's a, an article for that, though. Which class of anime does all the schoolgirl fall into? Asking for a friend? Yes? I think that's the correct answer. How did I do? I did what? Yeah, no, I did finish. I did finish Death Note. All right. I think we're good, guys. I'm getting all of these things up and running. So what's my bottleneck right now? Like, why is nothing producing? I think it's probably the, the, the chest over here that are all full. Green is just completely shut down. Yep, so purple, red, yellow, and blue are all full. Green has once again stopped working. What's the problem this time, green? Green really needs its handheld the entire time, man. I've spent more time on green than all of the other ones combined, and for some reason green is like, <gasps> Loco, tell me what to do. I don't know how to do anything by myself. Fucking green, dude. Alright, so I have a gajillion graviton lenses, but zero quantum chips. Quantum chips is exactly what I was trying to scale up today. Quantum chip, if I'm not mistaken, is the top end of this uh, production thing. Yes. Why are you not producing? Plane filters are out. Why are plane filters not producing? Casimir crystals are not coming up big enough. Casimir crystals are not being produced because of hydrogen! Alright! So, yeah, my hydrogen tank is, l is empty. It's the global chip shortage? Yeah, yeah, that's the problem, man. Yeah, so we really need to make... Like, hydrogen is, like, the most abundant resource in the whole fucking universe, right? And, uh, for some reason, I don't have enough of it. My gas giant doesn't give a whole lot of hydrogen, so that's what we're trying to fix right now. That's why I have, uh... Already nine of them. I need more, but... Mm-hmm. 
You have nine on the giant. How many towers do you have asking for it? So the one on the giant that I'm on right now only produces 0 0.25 hydrogen a second. I guess we're gonna do some uh, some planet hopping, guys. Pog. I do want to queue up a couple more things, though. We need to find a place that gives me more than, uh... You can break fire ice into graphene? Can I? Wait, I can break fire ice back down into hydrogen? That might be a solution. Uh, fire ice, fire ice, fire ice. What about hydrogen? I think it would still be f better though to just start gathering deuterium straight up. Because I'm currently cracking a lot of my hydrogen that I do have into deuterium. So I think I should still actually just go to the other planet. I might even want to grab a couple of the towers on my existing one right now though. Um, how much... How much fire ice am I consuming? Okay. 250 a minute. It's not that much. Okay. I think that'll be enough. I could go and grab a couple of the, the ones from the gas giant over here. Just because those orbital collectors are really quite expensive. They take a, a long time to produce. Yeah, I've never uh, really run out of hydrogen before. Okay. So I have these orbital collectors right over here. I, mean, I do have quite a bit in storage as well, though. Maybe I should, um... Yeah, it's a bit strange to be running out of hydrogen, I guess, right? I think I need to maybe just set up another receiver for it. Do I have any space anywhere? I do have some space over here. Uh, hydrogen. Is it not remote demand? Local supply? Remote demand? Yeah, that's it. Um, maybe these ships are actually charging up right now because they're still bringing in so much uh, sulfuric acid. I'll set up another one too. Do my gas collectors have ships? Uh, I don't think you have to put ships in the gas collectors, do you? Maybe you do. So there's 10 ships over here just chilling. I could set this as a distribution point as well. Yeah, you can't put ships on the gas collectors, right? So why are they not being brought in? You have quite a large reserve of hydrogen? No, I'm out of hydrogen. That's the problem. 
I do have some hydrogen on my uh, on my gas collectors, though. Yeah, maybe. Um, so I'm getting it in. I am getting it in over here. It's just being spent really, really quickly. Yeah, I am, uh... That's the Tyrium. So that's the supply of it. Maybe I can make uh You have a good one, uh, Mugetsu. Take care. Can you upgrade one of these things? That'd be nice. No. So I ultimately need my hydrogen primarily because of the Casimir crystal production. I need a load of it over here. Yeah. I think I might just need a little bit more. Can I, uh, can I throw these onto a conveyor belt somehow? I can, I can demand hydrogen over here too. How do I throw it onto the conveyor belt itself? I don't know. Oh, okay, like that. Not very time efficient. <laughs> it's okay. At least it'll kickstart the production a little bit of... Uh Some of the plane filters, and therefore the quantum chips again. Okay, so these ships are going around. Yeah, yeah. So this is local supply, remote demand on all of that junk. We can put some more ships in there because I have plenty. We're getting our orbital things in. I don't have as many as I would like to have, to be honest. I mean, I've got 10 of them right now. 10 is still going to last me quite a bit, but it's not as many as I was kind of hoping for. Which recipes do you use in your refineries? Usually Vespian geysers and then gas, like it's called Vespian gas. Okay. We'll be warping a bunch of that shit in. Okay. 
Anything else we gotta get done? I could charge 50 more accumulators. And get two more. May as well. Can I make five more? Need fucking iron plates, really? I could customize the mech. I honestly don't care too much about customizing the mech. Maybe at some point I'll do it, but... At this point, I'm a grumpy old man who just wants to sort out his fucking problems. And I've got a load of problems in the color of my mech ain't one, chat. It's a sad time. Okay. We build a couple more batteries. We gotta charge those. Get out of here, Mother Nature. Cut down the trees. Okay. That'll be enough. And then once those are charged, I should be able to make couple more of those. Okay, that's incredibly inefficient. Let's buy the green production. Look, can't you get hydrogen delivered by Amazon? Jeffrey! Je no, I don't think Jeffrey can give me any uh, hydrogen. Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. Bring me hydrogen, put your back into it. I don't think I can call Mr. Bezos Jeffrey, guys. I don't think we go on a first name basis. It sounds kind of rude, you know? What if Mr. Bezos decides to watch my stream? And he just, you know, I'm assuming he has a magic wand that he can just kind of wave around and he can just ban my channel. For no reason. None. None whatsoever. You think he knows my first name? Sure. I agree. I know my first name. His mom calls him Jeffrey. His friends call him Jeff. Are you saying I'm his mom? This is becoming very strange. Yeah, maybe, maybe Mr. Bezos doesn't even realize that, you know, Amazon owns Twitch. He's like, Twi Twi what now? Esports? So what are these guys really good at? Can they just press buttons really fast? Like, what is... Huh? This game is basically Amazon Simulator, yeah. Mr. Bezos would be really good at playing this game. His planet would be fucking organized to the max. His robots wouldn't get a lot of pay. It's really... <laughs> it's really great. It'll be streamlined and smooth. Um... Loco, did you hear that Elon wants to take the W out of Twitter? Elon wants desperately to stay in the media's attention 24-7. That's what Elon really wants. And so far, he's managing. I personally am a little tired of it, I'll be honest with you. I'm like, Elon, sh shut the f Elon, 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 sh Elon, just shut the f Elon, get to, w shut the f you know, that's what I'm thinking. But, um, hey. If you can spend 1% of your net worth, uh, you know, uh, buying 10% of fucking... I'm surprised he isn't streaming yet, dude. I'm surprised Elon Musk doesn't have a Twitch account and streams. I would not be surprised. Oh, yeah. 
it would break the platform. There would be so many people watching Elon stream. It'd be bigger than like when Ninja streamed together with Drake. <laughs> that was a strange moment. Remember that a couple years ago? Suddenly Ninja was streaming with Drake. What a... Very weird. I, I, I still don't understand how that quite happened, but it's okay, I guess. Okay. I haven't heard about Ninja in a long time, man. He really kind of dropped off of, uh, like, he seemed to be, like, the mainstream streamer guy, right? What happened there? Ooh, my new YouTube video is up? Oh my god, I didn't realize. Ha! Ha! It's already 8 p.m. I don't know. Thanks for reminding me that I should go offline chat. Didn't he buy... Wait. Didn't he get bought by Facebook or something and everyone on Twitch stopped caring? No, that was a little while ago. He moved to Facebook Gaming, yeah. No, he moved to... Uh, that platform owned by Microsoft. I'm already forgetting the name of it. It's fading in my memory. And then they moved... Mixer, that's it. Mixer, and then they moved to, uh, to Facebook Gaming and then eventually back to Twitch. No, it didn't die. Mixer didn't die. They sold to... Facebook Gaming. Like, Mr. Zuckerberg was like, mmm, give me some of that. It's a very strange situ- another very strange situation, man. Like, it honestly feels incredibly disconnected, that- Like, you're like, okay, I wanna do Facebook gaming, so I buy Mixer. It's- it's- I don't understand, man. I should be, uh... Part of those conversations, man. I mean, they're like, no, 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 don't do it. It's... It's kind of dumb. Anyways. Still love his barbecue video? Okay. I want to go quickly check out one thing. And that is the hydrogen situation right over there in Diamond League. Hydrogen and... okay. I just want to see how much hydrogen and deuterium you can gather in Diamond League. Because that could probably solve all my problems. <sighs> good stream today, guys. But having a good time. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, Platinum League was also there. Hello! Ooh. One hydrogen a second and 0 0.04 deuterium. That sounds like an incredibly small amount of deuterium. 
I don't know if one hydrogen a second is good though. Does anyone happen to know what like those that's that's normal? Okay. It's something. Yeah, I'm just greedy now, uh, Shazar. Shazar, don't get me wrong, man. I'm happy with the hydrogen on this planet, and I don't want you to think I'm only here for the, you know. <clears throat> one, uh, one a second on hydrogen is pretty good. Okay. I'll believe Hartnepper's judgment. Look for the thick line. Found the thick line. Mr. Nieper, he knows what's up. All right, guys. Yeah, it'll it'll be enough, right? This will fix my bottleneck. Twenty big ass orbital towers. No, you can't do much with these towers. Honestly, it uh, it would be nice if you could do a little bit more with these, but um. I wonder what's for dinner today, guys. I'm very hungry. Did you know yesterday, me and Lauren were together for six and a half years? She's been putting up with my shit for six and a half years. Imagine that. Not as long as me and Pickett, of course. Pickett resubbed for like 97 months or some shit earlier today. Dita Hunter and me, we've been together for like 90 months, 98 months, something like that, I don't know. Six and a half years, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did my drones fall that far behind? Relationships end at the seven min the seven year mark on average. Oof. Welp. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on, little interceptor. Come on! What about kids? Maybe one day, dude. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Hmm. That should be slightly better, guys. You see that nice upward trend on the hydrogen? Stonks is what we call that in the business. Yeah, DX knows what's up. I just hope that it's also actually being picked up. Uh, was that one that was just getting picked up? No, it's going somewhere else. Oh, 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 yep, 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 it's being picked up. Can we see them dock? Yeah, yeah, I've already got warp engines, uh... Going to these places. Oh, look at that. It's going in at the top, and then it boosts out again. Pew! Docking low hot. Alright, then. 
Nice. GG Hydrogen. Alright, nice. Today, we might actually build the Dyson Sphere. Ah, I'm just kidding. That's what I said last time. And then I went around the world and did loads of different things. But none of them involved starting a Dyson Sphere. Um, the problem I was trying to fix was the amount of hydrogen that I was getting here. And um, I've decided that my best bet is to import it from an entirely different planet. So I built a whole lot of these orbital collectors. They're extremely expensive. But they collect a ton of hydrogen. And currently my hydrogen production... Look at this. What? Why is my hydrogen consumption zero? Anyways, um, things were doing better. <clears throat> Theoretically. Oh wait, I was set to the locals. Ah, that's why. Ah, okay, that's why. Yeah, there we go. Okay, my total production is at... Well, a little bit more than I used to have. You can see when I installed those things that we're just orbiting around right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, this uh, definitely should speed up the amount of stuff that we have. And hopefully that's going to allow me to then make more of those... What are they called? Quantum chips? And then the quantum chips can be used to ultimately build the Dyson Sphere components, which is what we're trying to do. All right, we're going back to my home system right now. 8.2 light years away. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that in one warp. I hope so. I'm not full on energy here. Yeah, I'm a little hungry. What's going on, Brusik? I'm doing well, man. Welcome. I'm using deuterium fuel rods, which is another requirement for uh, the Dyson Sphere production itself. I used to have hydrogen, you know, deuterium rods or, or hydrogen fuel rods, but now my new best friend is uh, deuterium. Oh, ho, ho, good warp, good warp, good warp. Okay, so this is home. For those of you that haven't watched before, we currently have a solar swarm orbiting the star over here. And ultimately, we want to be making a Dyson sphere around the planet called Prime or the, the star called Prime. Uh, I have a planet right over here called Donnie Vermillion. This one is orbitally locked or yeah, the... the Planet doesn't orbit around its own axis, meaning that like it's always facing part uh, of it to the star, which is really convenient. So we can use that for the shooting of the solar sails, but also for constructing of the Dyson Sphere. Uh, one thing I need to go ahead and do, which I remembered after I ended the stream yesterday, is that I need to have a lot more electricity on that planet. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of these geothermal power stations for a sec. I know I could just I could just use these other things, the the Dyson spheres itself or the Dyson swarm, but there's a lot of lava on that planet. And the lava is quite efficient. Yeah, the problem with the solar seals is that they they run out. So the solar seals they uh, they have a lifespan. And if you uh, yeah, run out, obviously you're in a little bit of trouble. Because at some point, I'm going to mine out all of the iron that's in the system and the other base resources that we need to make those solar seals. Oh, tidal lock is useless for Dyson Sphere rockets? Is it really? <sighs> I do have food, chat. Um, so ultimately my green production needs to be higher than the consumption of it. Mm. 
That's looking good. Um, I am getting all these upgrades. So this one should be done over the course of the next couple of minutes. And I think that's the last level to the Dyson Sphere stress system. And at that point, we can start stacking up a couple of those green cubes. And then once I've got like a bunch of green cubes stored, that's when we can start the production of the Dyson Sphere components. We're getting a pretty good outcome right now, though. Or output right here. Of the green stuff. You don't need green spheres for this. No, I know. But one of the components I need for the uh, for the sphere... Is the... Um, quantum chip. And the quantum chip is something I consume extremely quickly. So I have tons of graviton lenses over here, but... Um, I can store some of them over here, I guess. We can store like 500, that's fine. So this is my deuterium fuel rod situation. I might need to up that as well. But I should have a more steady income right now of deuterium too. So hopefully that will make things a bit better. Not much, though. Yeah, it's still not as great as I would like it to be. But the Tyrium, I guess, is always going to be one of those bottlenecks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nah, I have plenty of processors. So this is the setup right over here for the Dyson Sphere components. I already have, um, yeah, 10,000 solar seals over here. The Dyson Sphere components themselves. Where am I sending those off to? Uh, I'm sending those somewhere. Why are you not building? Okay, we need more frame materials. Frame materials are coming up pretty quick, so I could just extend this. Okay, we'll just extend this for a little while, and then we'll go from there. <sighs> okay. I don't usually use blueprints as much as I should, but that seemed quite convenient. So there is going to be a bottleneck over here for carbon nanotubes. Mhm. Mm mm. I'm making those from the other resource. So there's two recipes for carbon nanotubes. I'm using the one right over here that requires spiniform stalagmite crystals. Which is something we're importing from a different solar system. Well, we're actually refining it over there. So I might want to look into... Um, yeah, to see if I maybe have more. So right now there's another load that just arrived, I guess. Oh my god. Bro, I didn't realize I was storing 10,000 quantum chips over here already. Does it split attention? So I have two of these logistics stations. I'm just thinking of that. I have two logistics stations that demand quantum chips. Do they split them one by one? Or is it just first come, first serve? Like how... Um, so I was trying to up my, um, 
my sphere production over here. Or my quantum chip production over here. So I can make these Dyson Sphere rockets. But I think I can actually make quite a few of them. Okay. Oh, there's one more level to it? 7k? Okay, fuck that. I can't be bothered with that right now. That's too many. Um, That's huge, though. That means we can actually start producing the, the sphere itself. Okay, one thing I need to go ahead and do is head on over there real quick and plug some more of that power in because I'm fairly certain I'm running low on power and I will once I start shooting the Dyson Sphere. Yeah, my satisfaction right now is not that high. Fill the little lakes over here. So geothermal is like pretty easy, right? You can get a lot of power out of uh, this type of planet. Um, okay, that already brings me quite a bit. I have a few more. At some point, though, I'm gonna have to power up those, uh... Dyson Sphere Shooter things, whatever it's called. Yeah, so these generate do quite, uh, or these do generate quite a bit of power, so that'll, that'll help out. All right. So we need to make a um, we need to make a Dyson shell, a Dyson sphere itself, guys. A design for it. Now I know there are blueprints for these types of things, and I think I'm gonna use one because the one that I made when I played this game like a year ago really looked not that great. I'm sure I'm sure there's people that have made a cool one. If anyone has any recommendations for one that I should use, let me know. Mm -mm -mm. Dyson Sphere Blueprint. Ooh. That looks amazing, actually. That looks really cool. Planet Dyson Sphere? So wait, this looks like a planet? Uh, Dyson Sphere is a device we can hopefully subtract a ton of electricity out of. That's at least the goal. Oh, okay. Dude, that looks amazing. Look at that. Honestly, I kind of want to go for that one. Am I crazy? That looks really sick. I, I made an actual sphere. Let's see if this works though. I don't know how... Can I just hit paste over here? Hold up. Let me save first. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I can't apply it yet because I need to have the maximum stress system. Uh, 6 times 15 degrees is 90, right? So I'm assuming there's 6 levels to it. I don't I don't have 7,000. Yeah, I don't have 7,000 green cubes. I have a bunch, but... 
we've just been making a backlog over the course of the last couple minutes. So this will probably only take about half an hour or so. Okay, and then we'll import the blueprint, I suppose. Uh, spinny form thingamajigs. We might need to go and pick one of those up. Uh, where am I getting that again? So there's Kimberlite ore over there. I think I was getting that from Belgium. Belgium, I'm coming for you! Dude, guys, we're going to Belgium. Let's go. Did I invade Belgium? No, we're strip mining Belgium. Can we get some waffles? We can. Yeah, we're just harvesting Belgium for its resources. I don't know which planet we were on anymore. Was it Belgium 3? Um... So this one has fire, ice, optical grading, crystal. It's Belgium 2. Spiniform stalagmite. I am harvesting it over here. I don't remember if I set up all my harvesting for it. We could get patat. Yeah, 